Okay, everybody. I just went outside. It's October 4th, 2011. 10 p.m. My time in Mississippi. And I took a uh, cheap JVC camera, video camera, that takes snapshots. And I, what I did was I just went out there and took some snapshots of the moon. Because there's this guy on YouTube, Ursu Adams, and I'll spell it for you. U-R-S-U-A-D-A-M-S. On July 9, 2011, he uh, posted a video 15 minutes long claiming that he has pictured and photographed and filmed a planet by hiding behind the moon. Now, we all know that's not physically possible, okay? This guy's just another idiot. He's claiming he's undiscovered something. But uh, I just took a uh, JVC. And actually, it's an old camera I bought off eBay. It doesn't really videotape anymore, but it has a real good camera. It's a JVC uh, model number GR-DVL520U. And it's made in Japan. It's probably, I guess, five, six years old at least. Uh, but it takes real good snap, pretty good snapshots. It, like I said, it's not much for the video kind of plays here and there. That's why I went, I went to digital cameras and videos. But uh, it has a real good zoom on is why I used it. And it's a, the lens I would have predicted hey, would get us a good flare. Give me the same kind of image that he's showing. Now, as you're going to see, his pictures compared to mine, that uh, the pictures I'm going to show, the picture I'm going to show is a... The, the second object is blue, very similar to his. His is a little bit crisp, is a crisper, clearer, where you can actually see details of the planet. Those details seem to resemble the details of the moon that is showing, that is hiding behind, hiding behind. So, I mean, it's really idiotic. He shows that there's a lens flare, but I believe he's got a camera on top of a telescope. So... If he's if he's moving the camera as he's looking through the telescope, that's why he's getting he's getting two flares, two reflections in two different sets of lenses. That's why he's able to take one camera lens and move it around and to show you that there's a that there's a flare that he can control. Then there's a second flare, but it's blue, which is going to be similar to the one in mine. Like I said, mine not is mine's not as crisp. And it's clear as his, but it's definitely the same type of blue. It's not a planet hiding behind the, the moon. This guy's an idiot. And I don't really see where he's posted anything since then. Because of my other video about Comet Elden and the false alarm. I specifically spoke about him and he hasn't produced anything else. I want him to come forward and challenge me. Prove to me that it's not a lens flare. And he's not going to. I mean, hey, these guys are going to be running for cover until they come up with another idea, another scam. See, in October, which is right around the corner, we're supposed to become the closest we're going to get to Comet Element. And it's supposed to do more damage. And these nut job Christians are claiming that Jesus is riding behind it in spaceships and vehicles and all that. You know, that's why Christianity really is a dying religion. I mean, you can only moan and groan about your prophecies are coming true for so long and then something has to give either they have to show up or you've got to shut up or you've got to start making excuses and believe and expect that everything that happens is prophetic this is what god predicted and you know god may have not told him any of this he may have but just i'm gonna put the picture up and then i went out there and filmed it with a it's a uh uh, it's another camera I bought off eBay. Pay, I paid a hundred bucks for the guy. I bought it brand new and didn't want it anymore, as he said. But I've had it for a year or so at least. It works perfectly. It uses the little smart cars and all that. It's a DXG 581V high definition camera. They're two or hundred bucks all day, brand new. Okay, and I paid a hundred bucks for it, and I filmed it, and I'm able to get the little lens, lens flare that he has very easily. There's nothing there. This is just another uh, idiot. 
that wants to post something up there. And he's got 45,000 hits. And all he's put up there is a lie. He's wasted 15 minutes of everybody's time to view it. I viewed it and watched most of it. But I know how much damage, how much uh, influence the moon has on, our, on, our, on the water. And how far it would pull the water out of the water out of the basins. I think the tides go, go up to about six feet. The moon can pull the water out of its basin about six feet. A planet behind the moon would even be would be catastrophic. Catastrophic. It would be a flood of biblical proportions, such as the Noah's flood. So this guy's an idiot. He's lying. He just found some way to get up there and get him some hits. And, you know, I'm cool with people getting hits and everything. You know, if you can get enough hits, you know, you need to make a little money on it. I don't know exactly how much it is. But he's got 45,000 hits, and he's nothing, but, he's nothing but an idiot and nothing but a liar. He's nothing but a fraud. And I'm debunking these guys because I, for a long time, have believed in Planet X, but I believe it's many years away. That's what Sitchin originally believed, claimed before he passed away last year. He claimed that it caused a flood, that the flood was 5,200 years ago. Just subtract 3,600 from 5,200, you know, whatever, you know. Planet X is probably several thousand years away, if it even exists. It's not coming. Uh, if there is a event for 2012, because we, we, we're now hearing that some miraculous way, that 2011 in October is actually the end of the Mayan calendar, not December 21st, 23rd, whatever it is, on 2012. So already is backtracking the confusion from all these uh, prophetic and hypothetical doomsday philosophies and theories. I think there's nothing to them. I don't think there's anything to them. I do believe parent, Planet X does, does make a near passing every 3,600 years. I believe we're, it's due thousands of years from now, several thousand years from now. There's nothing to worry about. Like in the video that I'm going to attach to the photo, it they are building underground bunkers. They're building a lot of underground bunkers. You know, are they simply just preparing just in case something happens and they missed it? And we are struck by a, a asteroid that causes a cataclysm that causes, it kicks up so much dirt or steam that we go through an ice age and it cools down the earth and there's, are they simply just preparing just in case? That may be so. There may not be no actually known event. They are building a lot of underground bunkers though. I, I think it's 128. Uh, almost nearly 200. Phil Snyder talked about him before he uh, miraculously come up dead. Uh, you know, it's kind of Clinton type suicide thing. But you know, I just want you everybody to know this. This is not real. There's nothing to this. This guy is a clown. Okay. And like I said, the reason why his picture is gonna look clearer and crisper than mine. It, he is probably using a more expensive camera and telescope that's going to produce a much better quality picture. But he's got a camera attached to a telescope. That's two sets of lenses. That's going to produce two types of flares, okay? And he's moving the camera as he's viewing through the telescope. That's where he's getting one set of the flares and the other flare. If he moved the telescope, too, he would get the blue object to move, too, because I have shown that the blue object can move back and forth, okay? So, uh... View the picture, view the camera, and please pass this around. How about give me some hits for trying to give the truth out? Not not some bunch of BS. There's nothing to it. He's been debunked. I haven't seen anything else from him. If he does, I'm going to comment and I'm going to go debunk it too. He's an idiot. Thank you and God bless America. As you can clearly see, I can move the little image all the way around it if I choose to. So he's sitting here and telling you that there's a planet behind the moon. He knows nothing about physics. He knows nothing about nothing. You can move it away or to the left. I even got... I can even get two in there if I work hard at it right there. Two of them. Two lens reflections. Okay, see if it'll come back on the other side. Alright. Not gonna be able to get it, I don't think. 
This is what these guys are doing. All these guys that claim there's a Planet X going to hit next month or 2012 or anything. Nothing to it. Nothing to it at all. As you see, we can make the little lens flare reflection go up and down. Up and down. Up and down. And right to left. And right to left. Right to left. These are the clowns that you don't need to be listening to. They're idiots. As you can see, I can control it however I want. There's nothing there. Nothing there. It's not real. These guys are telling you to go buy all these expensive lenses. This is not an expensive little video digital camera. It's high definition, but it's not expensive. Less than 200 bucks. And I can get the same image he's got, except my planet bounces back and forth very fast. So... Take it in mind when you hear this junk. Now, they are on, in Antarctica looking for something. But, I mean, does it mean it's going to be here next week? 2012? I don't know. They are building underground bunkers. They're building a lot of them. A whole lot of them. A whole lot of bunkers. A lot of military activity, but there's been a lot of military activity since the Waco fiasco in the early 90s so when you see somebody in there talking about troop movement troop movement yeah well mark corky used to talk about that in 93 94 95 so that's no big event i mean maybe it really is just training programs training games war games but you see how that moves back and forth and i'm just barely moving the camera so sometimes you can even get two but that's what you're dealing with so, there you go, America. Bunch of BS brought to you by the idiots. Probably some Christian thinks there's a planet that Jesus is coming back behind the moon. But, uh, once again, good night and uh, let everybody know this. Pass it around. Make it go viral on the net. No planet behind there. The guy's an idiot. And uh, I'm going to let him know. Thanks.